Good day, folks. One of the nice new features of the GoPro Hero 5 is the ability to add GPS data overlays to your videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily do this. So the first thing we got to do is make sure GPS is enabled. So we're just going to swipe down from the top, go to Preferences, and then scroll down to the bottom, or near the bottom anyways, and see where it says GPS? Make sure it says on. So now we got the GPS enabled. You will see at the top left-hand corner, we got the Wi-Fi signal and the GPS little icon there, and it's grayed out right now, and that's because I'm indoors. It's really hard to get a GPS lock when you're indoors. When you are outdoors, wait till that turns white. That means it has a GPS lock and then you're ready to record. So now that we've got GPS enabled, we're going to go to the computer and launch our quick app. Now just make sure you have the latest version, which is 2.1.0.4563. I had to download it manually. I have automatic updates set up for Quick to update to the newest versions, but I had to go to the gopro.com website and download it manually. For some reason, it wasn't updating to the latest version. Okay, so what we're going to do is find one of the videos that we recorded with GPS on, and I'll just use this one here as an example. Double click it to bring it up to the viewer mode and you'll notice right away we have this new icon here when a video has been recorded in GPS mode or with GPS on I should say you're gonna get this extra gauge here and it says adjust gauges so if we click on it we can turn on all the different gauges that are available to us GPS path, speedometer, g-force, up here GoPro logo, info cluster and now we're gonna hit save And right away you can see we've got all these new graphics on our screen. And they're nice because they're customizable. You can move them around to wherever you want on the screen. Uh, you can make them bigger just by pulling these little handles here. Uh, you can turn them off, you know, if you don't like, you know, you don't want the GoPro logo on, say, take that off. Oh. Hit save. And yeah, so that's kind of nice. Now, so we got everything set the way we want. We're going to want to save this as a new file. And you do so by clicking down here on the little scissor icon. And from here, it uh, will give us a new uh, scrubbing tool where we can edit the clip. My computer is being a little slow. So from here we can uh, edit the video how we want it. Got little scrubbers here we can slide. And you gotta excuse me, I'm actually doing some 3D rendering right now so it's eating up all my memory so my computer's a little bogged down at the moment. But yeah, so we adjust it to where we want it and then we click the save button and from there it will save it as a new file on our computer so yeah this works for both photo and video mode it does not work in video time lapse though i've done a few tests to see if it will record even you know your path obviously you can't do your speed in time lapse mode but if you're doing a drive lapse i was kind of hoping it would uh, record your path and a few different things but it only works when you're shooting video and it's nice for any activity, not just driving in your car, but if you're cycling, ski board, or skateboarding, snowboarding, skiing, you know, it will record all the data, you know, that you could want. Uh, it even does G-forces. If you're on a motorcycle, say, you can uh, record some of the G-forces when you're doing tight turns. 
One other thing I want to show you here quick before we uh, end the video is if you go up to your preferences, you can actually change it from imperial to metric. So if you're in Canada or you know other countries that use metric, you can switch it over to metric. Um, you can also have it set that the gauges turn on automatically to your videos. Now it doesn't permanently put them there, but it's just when you go to view a video, the gauges will be there. So you can turn that on and off from the settings menu. Well, folks, that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and we'll see you in the next one.